So the next use case is offline acceptance. So in emerging markets, we find that there are a lot of people who are not able to participate in the space uh, for simple fact that a acquirers are not able to you know acquire them um, because a it's difficult and expensive to provide a terminal like these which could cost anywhere between three to five hundred dollars. Um, scheme fees are high, therefore it's difficult to acquire them on a traditional MDR rate. Uh, and, and, and most of all, it's been difficult to acquire them because you didn't, or, or traditional acquirers didn't have any solution for that, for that market. So one of the ways that, or one of the journeys that a lot of companies have taken is by providing them with static QRs. The problem with static QR codes is that static QRs are one way. There are no uh, instant confirmations back to the merchant. Uh, the only way for an instant confirmation back is to um, provide them with a device like a phone to get an SMS. And again, that's a segment where you, you shouldn't ex uh, um, expect any of these things. All right. Uh, and also the problem with static QR is that there are uh, a hell lot of frauds. Because if you go to the uh, Google Play Store today, there are enough and more apps available which can spoof the confirmation pages of any wallet today. All you need to scan is a QR which has the merchant information and boom, you get a confirmation page or a success page. And the merchants typically don't understand why that is so. Uh, they might think that, oh, I haven't got an SMS uh, because of, uh, for example, network congestion. So that's the challenge that people face today. Um, what we have, what we have here, is a way to bypass all of that by means of a small device like this. This is a pod. This pod is basically a speaker. It's got a screen and it's got a mic here, and it's also got uh, a USB connectivity, which is meant to a charge and b also have uh, uh, connected to various devices like a cash register so this device is completely offline so when i say offline uh, there is no you uh, there is no bluetooth there is no wi-fi there is no sim card uh, there is no nfc this device is a completely dumb device and the only role that uh, this device and for that matter any device plays in our ecosystem is just to emit merchant information so this emits merchant information and uh, the merchant information includes the TID, uh, the MID uh, and the timestamp of any particular transaction. That's the only thing that is being emitted uh, by any of our devices in any transaction. So like I said, it's a, you think of this device as a smart QR in, 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 in terms that it can have a two-way uh, secure engagement so that the merchant gets an instant confirmation. So let's see how this works. I have my wallet here and all I do is tap. Instantly, the SDK recognizes that this is coming from uh, a, a device like this, which doesn't have a keypad, all right? And therefore, you need to enter an amount. So for this purpose, I might say 23, and I say pay. And I get a confirmation, and instantly, on this device, you see success and you see the amount. So what just happened here? This device emitted a merchant request saying that, hey, I am the merchant. This is my MID. This is my TID. This is my, um, you know, this is the timestamp of this particular transaction. That sound is carried from this device to this device. And this device takes that merchant request, runs to the merchant, uh, or rather runs to the wallet server and does a once and checks if the wallet is in good standing and does a two way swap and gives a, a ping back to this to the wallet saying the transaction is successful and this device gives a confirmation back via inaudible sound wave. So if I bring my phone close to this recorder, you can hear a small buzzing. And that is basically the phone giving back an inaudible confirmation back to this device to say that transaction is, is successful. So this is basically the, the premise of the tech. The tech is meant to drive offline acceptance. This is typically one tenth the cost of a point of sale terminal, any card terminal like these. Um, and the whole role in this is to just drive last mile enablement. So here you have now a device which can go out and accept 
or you can acquire uh, new segments, which is easy to cost effective to do. Uh, this is completely interoperable with MPQR or MVSA. Therefore, you can have you can use those open resource rails to to transact and make it open up to other wallets or uh, mobile banking applications in in due course. Um, and 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 that's it. So this is very easy to deploy, and you can even have an open loop or a closed loop system to drive a very cost effective. Uh, digital wallet experience and uh, for any questions please reach out to me this these are my details I am available on whatsapp and uh, happy to address any queries that you may have